Through the years, Egypt used to build the tallest and greatest building on the earth. New Capitals Tower is the tallest tower in the world, with a height of about 1,000 meters, which is higher than Burj Khalifa in Dubai. A Blisco Capital Tower has many shopping, housing, and recreation areas that you might be looking for. And its design is in the form of Pharaonic obelisks and the Nile. Where there is a canal connecting the main places of Obelisco Tower Egypt. Oblisco Capital is located close to 20 towers dedicated to business administration in the capital and many different services and is close to the axis of Mohammed bin Zayed, Al Safarit neighborhood, the regional ring road, Al Masa Hotel, and many other important areas of the administrative capital. Oblisco Capital Tower Egypt includes many developed services and hotel apartments designed with modern international methods, with around 12 shopping malls and several hotels. There are approximately 12 luxury stores with many international brands and other requirements needed by Oblisco Capital Tower's residents. Tower's facade is inspired from the lotus flower design used in the Pharaonic era. However, this design element is not just for decorative purposes, it also has has an environmental concept behind it. The design contains louvres inspired by Art Deco, which rotate according to the sun's inclination, reducing heat throughout the day. At the same time, the ratio between solid and void in the louvres design still provides transparency, which enhances the visual connection between inside and outside. The tower's architecture is inspired from both the Pharaonic and Art Deco styles. The proportions of the Oblisco Capital Tower were emulated carefully from the original obelisk dimensions. These dimensions embody geometrical perfection and structural stability. The Nile River is the second element of inspiration for our design. Represented in the project via the canal that connects the corners of land in the project. This water element will be the main means of mobility in the development. And don't forget to subscribe and leave your feedback on the comments below. Thanks for watching.